So, this is a slightly unexpected review from me. Um, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Mint Chicks Crazy Yes Dumb No. Um, in case you're wondering, that was the music I was listening to during my last video, which is my need some stoner rock recommendations. And it's funny because they're not stoner rock at all. You'd think maybe I'd be listening to some, but whatever. Um, so the main chicks are these two brothers from New Zealand, Cody and Ruben Nielsen, who are now based in Portland, Oregon. Um, and they call themselves the Mint Chicks. Uh, I actually got into them because uh, I, I talked to this guy from New Zealand online and he gave me some, some cool bands to listen to. Uh, this was one of them. They're famous for having wild live shows. For example, like they, they climb the rafters and hang from them and stuff. And apparently, uh, like one of them once took a chainsaw and started sawing this, like the ads on the side of the stage down or something. I don't know, it seems a little gimmicky to me, but um, their music is pretty good here. This song you hear here is called Occam's Razor. Um, they have another album before this called Fuck the Golden Youth which I think is better than this one a little bit, and I'll get to why. So the Mint Chicks have this blend of, like, post-punk. They really are just a post-punk band from New Zealand. Um, and on this album, it's really glossy. I mean, this song is good, but the gloss on here, the production really, really tends to tone down all the distortion, and because of that, it seems like it's kind of weak, the album. Doesn't really pack a punch, although this song does. Um, whereas on Fuck the Golden Youth, the production wasn't very advanced, let's say. And um, it came off better because it came off like they were a band just playing there. And that's why there's a lot of distortion on that album. It ended up sounding good. Um, but here it's so it's glossier and it, it takes away some of that power that they had. Also, um, the album, at least you can say it's consistent, but it never changes pace. Um, there's one slow song on here, and it's a poor attempt um, at doing, I guess, what they would call a ballad. But um, it's not really a ballad. But um, it keeps the same tone throughout the whole album, and at some point you just really get tired of hearing the same song over and over again. So that's my major complaints with this album. Not really much more I can say. I don't know much about this band. Uh, check some of the artwork out. Um, it's actually really cool, the artwork in this uh, album. So pretty strange stuff here with the with the penis here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, definitely some, some cool stuff in terms of the artwork. And it was actually Ruben Nielsen who drew this stuff. So kudos to him. But, um, yeah, if you want to get into the Mint Chicks, definitely buy Fuck the Golden Youth or their EP Octagon, Octagon, Octagon. I think those are definitely better than this album. But if you're already a Mint Chicks fan, uh, pick this up. There's definitely some good songs on here. But uh, it's really just um, too repetitive and too glossy for what's supposed to be like an exciting young band. I'll see you guys later.